Hi there, welcome to WP Matt. This video is going to be about image accordion widget of the Elements Kit plugin. Go ahead and open up any page with Elementor Page Builder. After that, from the widget panel, search image accordion. Drag and drop the image accordion widget. After that, in the left side, you'll find all the controls where you have to work with this image accordion. The first control is content under the content tab and they will find a few couple of lists. Let's open the first one and choose an image by clicking this background image. Now let's open the second one and choose another image. And let's continue this process. After we add all the images, let's open the first one and there you'll find another control which is active. If you enable it, you'll find the first one is active. After that you have the title box, I'm changing the title and writing dream and motion. After that you'll find enable icon, let's open it and choose an icon. I'll choose a bell icon. Then the icon position comes in. There you can choose before and after. Let's choose after. Then the button control comes in. By default it will be opened. If you disable it, you won't find the button. After you enable the button, you'll find the label control. After that the URL control. Then you have the option to enable the pop-up. Let's have a look at it. After I have enabled the pop-up, in the right side in the content you can see a plus icon. If I click over it, I can see the pop-up of the image. You can change this icon from here. You can also add a project link here. Enable the project link control. Then you'll find another icon just after the pop-up icon. In this area you need to provide with your project link and the icon. You can choose the icon from the library or you can also upload an SVG image. And you'll find all the similar settings into the other list. After the content area, we have the style area. There it's selected horizontal. Into the desktop device, sometimes in tablet device, the horizontal style look better. But let's see a preview in the mobile device. There you can see the horizontal look is not so suitable. In order to solve that problem, Image Accordion offers you another style, which is the vertical style. After you choose the vertical style, now all the images are in vertical mode. Then you have active behavior. Right now, the images will open by click. From here, you can also apply the hover mode. Let's go to the desktop device and choose the hover mode. So this is all about the settings you'll find under the content tab. Now let's see what we have in the style tab. Here, the first control we have under the general tab is the mean height and the gutter. By increasing and decreasing the mean height, you'll be able to control the height of the images. Then you have the gutter. This control will help you to make a spacing among all the images. After that, the item background color. Now if you notice the active item, there you won't find any background color. But from here you can choose any background image or color. You can control the color opacity. The next control we have is the padding and the margin. Then the border radius comes in. Let's increase the border radius. It will affect the main wrapper of all the images. After that, the title control comes in. From here, you'll be able to work with the title margin, title and icon is passing, the title color. Let's choose the title color black. Then you have the icon size. I want to keep these settings unchanged. After that, if you go to the typography, from here you can change the font family, font size, font width and the transform. I'll choose the font family pop-ins and the font size I want to use 40 pixel. And the other settings I will keep unchanged. Similarly, if you open the content, they'll find the content alignment padding and the vertical position. In vertical position, it's selected to middle, but you can start from the top or you can also start from the bottom. In here, let's increase the padding bottom, 40 pixel. After that, if you open the button, there you can work with the button padding and the typography. They will also be able to work with the button border. I don't want to keep any border right now, so I'll make it none. For the button hover color, you need to open the button hover. Then for the background, you can choose any color. I'll change the blue color to the red color. Now open the last control which is the action icon. The action icon means the icon that will give you the ability to work with the pop-up and the project link. From the icon is passing, I'll use left 10 pixel and right 10 pixel. Then the first control you have is the icon left is passing. Let's increase it. As a result, you'll find the spacing between this icon. After that, you have the pop-up icon color, link icon color and the background color. I'll choose the background color red. And this is the output. On hover, I'll choose the background color black. The colors I'm choosing and the typography I'm choosing are just for the testing purpose and to show you how everything works. So this is all about the setting that you need to know in order to work with the image equity. Thank you for watching this video.